today. We got a special guest in the building. Go ahead and introduce yourself. You already G know Money. what it is. What's great to say, even though you just did it, <laughs> is I'm just running Radio G Money, Fleet DJ, Radio DJ, Club DJ, and I, I do a lot of stuff. I got podcasts too. I do everything. Mm. And I dance. So not first, on no poles though. Not on no poles. Tell everybody where you got the name from. Oh, that's a long story. <laughs> that's a long story. You want that story? Go ahead. Tell me about right, it. So, so um, back in college at Fable State. Attitude check. Bronco pride. Okay, so <laughs> back in college, um, I, me and a group of friends, to make a long story short, we created a group called KOU, Kingdom of Ugly. So I was Prince Ugly, there was King Ugly, the, the Sultan of Ugly, the Emperor of Ugly, the President of Ugly, the Tsar of Ugly, whatever. You know, and that was our crew. We go out to we go out to clubs and stuff. That's a, that's that's the crew name. Like, oh, Crayon, you about to get on the floor? Like that's what it was. So when I came into radio, when I uh, I started interning at the radio station, um, they was asking me after a couple of weeks. I was like, Hey, we want to put you like we're we're gonna put you on a Jane show, but you need a name. I was like, I got the name. It's G Money. But back then, everybody had a tagline. So it's Jane Doe, the Filipino princess. It was um, Mike Tech, the crowd motivator. Lamont Swing, the wild and crazy guy. I was like, okay, so, oh, D-Rock, the big teddy bearer, all up in the era. So I needed, I was like, man, I need a, I need a, a tag. And I was like, well, my, my other nickname is Prince Ugly, but I didn't, I didn't like that name. Like wow. that, that one sounded like, it's a one, AKA Prince Ugly. So no, I was like, so I just came up with it myself. I was like, what if I'm hmm, ugly, ugly? You know what I'm saying? I, I went through a few transitions, but I was like, you know what? The ugliest brother in radio. Yeah, so it, it worked out. So what made you get into radio of all things? I, I knew from jump that I wanted to do something in entertainment. At first, I wanted to do TV. Like, TV was my thing. That was my idea. But living here in Fayetteville, um, and what I was, it was time for me to do my... my um, my internships, mm -hmm. the only place to do a TV internship was in Raleigh. And my car wasn't reliable like that back then. <laughs> and there was no way I was going to be driving back and forth and possibly getting stuck. So I decided, I was like, well, I was taking both TV and radio classes at the same time. So I decided to do uh, T. I decided to do radio. I started interning um, at WFSS on on Fayetteville State campus, which doesn't exist anymore. Mm -mm. No, it's, I rock a radio yeah, now. Rock a radio, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I wish it was there when I was there. But uh, it's cool. But um, uh, one of my, one of my homies was already interning at Foxy. Uh huh. And you know he he made the right calls, got me in there, and we. Ended so when did you there. decide to be a DJ? Because I know that was later on, probably yeah, five years see, ago. I've done six? yeah about six years ago. I've okay. been in radio eleven years, unofficially twelve years. And I started DJing. My I didn't officially become a DJ until 2012. So it's been like six years. You know, I started training back in 2011, but it wasn't until I did my very first gig that's when I considered myself a DJ. And yeah, that was 2012. So six years later, six and a half years later, it was March 20 something. It was early one of March 20 something. And now you're one of the city's biggest DJs out here because your name is everywhere. Everywhere we go, somebody knows G Money. Like, we can go out to but eat, for grocery store. Yeah. <laughs> for it's Fable for many State. reasons, though. Yes, yeah, for Fable State. State. DJ. And then y'all forget that, well, you, not you, but people don't realize that I was a club head. So <laughs> the whole time I was in college and even when I, when I was interning at Foxy, when I was working at Foxy and all that, like, the first, the, if, you can, if you don't see me anywhere else, I'm in the club. First guy in, last guy out. Like I said, I, I'm in there with the crew. We in there doing our, our steps and stuff. We, you know, say we battling and everything. <laughs> so if people didn't recognize me for anything else. They knew me from the club. And what would you say is the hardest thing about being a DJ? Whew. Man, look, I don't know what the hardest thing is, but a tedious part of it is keeping up with music, especially hip hop. So much because music. yeah, because like when you think about. Top 40 pop music. Right. Somebody like, I love Katy Perry. Somebody like Katy Perry puts out a record maybe, maybe once a year. Or or Taylor Swift, maybe once every two years. They have an album and that's that. They right. might feature on a song, but that's that. And hip hop, every week there's something dropping. Every single week. Like, like yeah. Meek Mill dropped the EP over the summer and came back with the album four or five months later. 
You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's all about, I guess, because of the fact that in hip hop, you have to be relevant. Like, it's always yeah. about being relevant. So people will drop song after song after song after song, album, and you're not even done after the album. Like, you're promoing your album, but you're still dropping songs. Uh -huh. So it's like everybody and their mama is trying to get on. So everybody and their mama is dropping songs. So real quick, tell us about your podcast and the stuff that you got going on in the future coming up. Okay, so I do, I do two podcasts. I'm a huge wrestling fan, so I do a Smash the Mat wrestling podcast. I do that with my boy J5. And it's pretty much me and him talking about everything that's going on in wrestling, mainly WWE. But there's like, right now is like the best time, in my opinion, to be a wrestling fan. Yeah. Because there's so, there's, it's easy to access. There's so many different options. So we try to talk about it as much as we can. And then I have another podcast called Everything About Nothing with one of my coworkers, Slim City and Cookie. And that, we just talk about everything uh -huh. and nothing at the same time. And we just, current events, whatever, and we just, we just cutting up. All that. So go ahead and tell everybody your social media and where they can find you at. Well, look, you're looking for me, G Money, G underscore M O N I Y. That's G Money with an I, not, not an e. e, on Instagram, on Twitter, and on Facebook. G M O N I Y. SoundCloud, where you can find my. My podcast and stuff, SoundCloud, just look, G-M-O-N-I-Y, Omni FM Studio, G-M-O-N-I-Y, Excelsior, G-M-O-N-I-Y, just, that's it, I'm, if you, you type that in, I've Googled myself, I'm there somewhere. And also, before you go, um, I think we should have a pop locking battle. <laughs> you didn't even, you, you you didn't even say, it, you didn't even say that like you was confident. You